Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again from their Idiot's Guide to Marathon Training. And today I'm out here with John, Blind Runner one on Twitter. You can check him out there. Great guy, out here running my second time run with a guy. He can see some colors and some shapes, but legally blind. We're, what, six miles plus into our run? Almost six and a half. About six and a half miles into it. My watch is off, says we're like 6.1, so it's way off, but both our road IDs say we're six and a half miles in. We're going for nine today. This will be his longest run since college. He's ran 10 in college. We ran seven, was it February? Yeah. Mid, late February down here in Georgia. Went for a run with this guy, had a great time. And right now he's kind of feeling pooped, but that's to be expected. So it's kind of a humid morning. It rained all night last night. Trail's a little muddy. Mud holes are avoiding that, but overall he's doing good. Main thing, my little tip here is going to be try to explain to him also. It's all about setting your pace. He tends to go out a little too hard, a little too fast. So when he does that, he pace for at the end. So that's one of the things I want to tell you guys. Make sure you start out slow and then run negative splits. Pick up your pace at the end. So he starts out a little fast and then he ends up paying for it here. So big thing is find something to distract yourself. Have yourself a good time. Don't beat yourself up. We missed a couple of our miles by a few seconds pace. And that upset him, I think, a little bit. And that discouraged him, which then leads to a negative mind, which then lead to a negative run. So anyway, guys, that's all I want to do is touch base here. Tell yourself, don't beat yourself up. Just cut your pace off a little bit. Stick to it. Stay with it. Stay positive. And keep trucking along. So anyway, guys, that's all we got for now. John don't have much breath. I don't want to talk right now. So all right, guys. after we get rested up, I'll do a little interview with him. You guys can know more about him after we get some food in him. So he definitely is going with some carbs after this. So anyway, you guys have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Get out there, hit the door, lace your shoes up, get your run on.